and three. You know, conceptually, then we've got a single transceiver, a single yeah. piece of physical hardware that with a, a software command can be uh, tuned or directed to tune to any one of 96 frequencies in the, in the w, DWDM spectrum? Absolutely. You, put, you can simply um, put the transceivers on each end of the circuit, connect them to a passive mux, and they will then in turn automatically find each other and tune to each other on the other end. Um, so that's, you know, hence the auto-tune um, uh, coining of that. So that's a, that, that sounds like some pretty interesting magic. Um, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to spend a minute to explore, you know, how that handshake takes place uh, between the two optics. So you've, you've plugged in two transceivers through a passive MUX technology. Um, theoretically, one of them is hanging on the top of a 5G cellular uh, tower. Uh, the other optic is at a baseband unit somewhere in the vicinity. Um, there's a, a piece of fiber with a passive DWD and MUX connecting these. Um, how do these optics establish? How do they decide what, what channel they're going to transmit on? Yeah, so um, it's actually fairly you know, simple conceptually. So, so the installer will, especially the guy on the tower, simply um, insert the transceivers, um, connect the fiber optic connectors, you know, button up the whole clamshell while he's doing that. Uh, as soon as power is provided to that um, SFP port, that SFP on the top of the tower, and the SFP perhaps down at the BBU or, or at the um, uh, DU, well, then all of a sudden they'll start communicating with one another and they'll certainly start sending out pulses of light. Say, let's just say, for example, they'll start channel 20. Channel 20, I might connect it to channel 20. And if it receives another pulse from the other direction, they'll say, hey, I'm on channel 20. You're on channel 20. Let's, let's connect. Otherwise, it'll just keep on going down the line until it, they find each other. So it's completely autonomous, completely automatic. Uh, there's no manipulation from a switch um, at the head end or at the remote side or at the top of the tower. It just uh, happens within the SFPs. So the, the auto-tune SFP has intelligence on the, the SFP that causes it to, to begin transmitting and scanning through the entire DWDM spectrum. Um, as, soon as, as soon as that light makes it through the MUX port that it's plugged into, the far end transceiver is going to receive that light as it passes through the MUX. Is there an embedded signal that goes in that pulse that, that then tells the far end transceiver, hey, you, you finally heard light from your, your neighbor, um, take some action? Yeah, there's a little bit of an out of band management channel there, signal that goes back and forth, just a packet that goes back and forth. And uh, they just uh, use that to, to, to do that handshake. Hey, that's channel 21. Okay, I'm gonna set myself to channel 21, a little confirmation, just an out of band transport, but a very, very small communication right. channel. So it sounds like, you know, you, you, you basically plug in a pair of these transceivers, uh, connect them, and within a few minutes, they automatically discover uh, the exact port that they've plugged in, they've been plugged into. Uh, they handshake and tune to the correct frequency. If you if you change them, if you move them, let's say these these auto tune transceivers are plugged into uh, channel forty one of a DWD mux, and you decide you need to regroom your network, and you you move them to channel forty five or channel eighty one. What what happens then? Yeah, as soon as that um, transceiver loses you know, loss of signal LOS. Uh, it will go back into that hunt process where it's going to go look for um, what channel am I? And it will then automatically reconnect with the other end. If you ch switch MUX ports with that transceiver, it will then go ahead and start the process over again and look for its uh, paired transceiver on, on the other end. I got to tell you, Ray, that, that really changes the operating mode. Having, having been in, in network engineering operations for a couple of decades, the struggle of having the right channel uh, the right frequency uh, transceiver in your hand um, plugged into the right MUX port, assuming you have that open MUX port available. This really simplifies operations, um, engineering, and, and more importantly, I think, uh, service restoral when, when an incident has occurred. Uh, it's just absolutely a game changer for operators and, and maximizes that fiber uh, asset that they've got. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's, um, we definitely feel it's going to be a big game changer, especially in the 5G world.